Welcome back to Iceland Bay. Today I am going to decorate around Roswell's house. I am doing my best to ignore the blue in the background. I have been shooting down a lot of eggs, but I know this one is not one with the egg. So after intro I probably will run after it and um, shoot it anyway. This is going to be a diner and you might think a diner on a other planet, a alien planet. Well, this is Roswell and he's pretty sure he can discover a lot more aliens and see a lot of UFOs and that is why he is going to make one of those diners you see near Roswell one of those UFO diners a little bit based on the one in the Jetsons and well a lot of my imagination so it's time to start the speed build Well, while I start building, and you might see um, me change around things as I go because this is a little bit harder. It, this turned out to be a little bit harder than what I thought, but like I said, as I am building, and most of this is really. Um, just putting down items so not very fancy decorating or anything just putting down items to make it look um, oh like a diner and that's what it's going to be so i'm happy that it will look like a diner but as i'm doing this i thought maybe we can recap the lore of Iceland Bay for a bit. The villagers who all lived on Iceland Bay Islands got invited? Yes, I think that's the word. Well, maybe they got volunteered, but no, they got invited by Tom Nook to a new project of Nook Inc. and that's a planet getaway package. It's not on the market yet this package, it's just a test and he asked us if we wanted to participate. Not all of us did. Actually, some moved with us and then decided to go back to Earth. But at the moment, of the old crew, we have Sherp and, of course, Dobie. They are here on this island. Um, they are trying to make edible food for us mere mortals and earthlings alike. And I will show um, their farm in a future video, maybe even the next, I don't know yet. And then, of course, some of the Water Island villagers um, followed too because well they were robots so they were fascinated and now they invited all the robots in Animal Crossing and their creator Professor Petrie uh, one of my earlier videos already showed um Professor Petrie's yard and all her 
very interesting machines in which she has all kinds of projects going. Maybe she is, I don't know, maybe she is creating another type of robot. Who knows? And then, well, we move to this planet. It is a little bit boring, a little bit hard to grow things on. That's why there's a lot of dead trees. They're all failed experiments. Uh, but something I know and you will find out pretty soon in one of the YouTube videos, our friends Toby and Sherp have found a way. They have found a, a way to uh, grow in soil from Earth and we are having fresh produce from their little farm. Well, we all know why Roswell joined us, of course, because he just, well, he always believed in UFOs and in all kinds of aliens and he just had to go with us. He just couldn't stay on Earth. He already was on our island because, well, he's an alligator and it was a water island. So he was already there. And when he heard that it was possible to go into outer space, well, he was basically the first uh, on the plane to um, Nook Inc. Space Division headquarters. When he got here, he realized that the aliens on this planet are uh, a little bit tiny. Little, um, the cute little gyroids are funny creatures and, well, they're not earthlings. But they're also not... bring me to your leader type of aliens well, we found another alien um, in stream we created the nature behind her house we found the alien princess or alien queen Ioni on this planet but that's in not enough for Roswell. Roswell wants aliens like you see in the movies and he's sure he is absolutely sure he will find those so is not called Roswell for nothing and while he waits, he decides to open his own business. Well, what's happening more on this um, weird planet? What have we spotted? Well, all kind of Oh, strange plants, especially those vines and glowing mosses. They are, of course, very, very pretty, and we don't we do DIY with them, but we don't really know much about them. So, I have asked Professor Petrie about it, and she said she would look into it. So, I don't know. Maybe a glow in the dark robot is in our future i don't know but for now i trust her i know she will figure out this all out and then of course there was one other problem not just the food but the water when you already see lots of gears and tanks 
those are all put there um, in exactly the specified spots um, for Kat. Kat is an, well, it's Kat. And she is, well, the best water management engineer you can find. And because of her, we have clean water to drink. And of course, it also means that um, Sherp and Dobie have clean water to use in their little farm. I mean, there's a lot, uh, it's quite a lot of us here, so we need the food. We can't live on, um, well, chips and cookies all the time. Well, maybe, maybe we could, but we shouldn't. Um, well, as you see, I am trying out in this build the use of the new popper blower and the new confetti machine. I don't know why, but I just, I just wanted to use those. I couldn't find any other way to incorporate them than in our oh, little diner. And the same is for the grain, grain cane. I will just, I will just say that. Um, Roswell needs the money and we all know we can't win with the grain machine or yeah, maybe once in a <laughs> how many tries? Let's just say I'm pretty sure it's cheaper to buy the toy than to try to win it. Well, for those who didn't know, Roswell is a pretty good cook. And the ice cream you saw is, is homemade. Well, of course we have to add a few more of Roswell's beloved models. Oh, that was not what I was planning to do, of course. We know I do that all the time in our builds. And of course, I have to pick up a few gyroids well, because no build without gyroids. And even if, um, no, not if, when I am flattening my island again, gyroids will be here. And I'm hoarding them. Believe me, I am hoarding them. Every single person who knows me and is able to send me um, gyroids, well, they are sending me gyroids. And I haven't said no yet. So, of course, one of my earlier builds on this planet was uh, a mine. And that mine is run by gyroids, so I'll find a way to incorporate them anywhere and everywhere. Now we're already unbelievable, but true, we are already at the finishing touches. Usually I use star clocks, they are a little bit bigger, uh, but nobody can pick them up. And of course star fragments can be picked up, but if I would have put down star clocks here, well, there was absolutely no way to navigate it anymore. So, I changed my mind from star clocks into star fragments for the finding uh, touches. There are just a few 
dropped about and as always uh, when I drop something it ends up on a chair or a stool in this case and I'm, I'm done and this is Roswell's little diner let's start at this side where he keeps his ingredients and his stock and then around here where he cooks and well earns a little bit of extra cash we all know these things are rigged and that you are absolutely never going to win anything but even a UFO watcher needs to find some way to earn a little bit more money and then the main dining area of course it is based on what Roswell likes most so there are a lot of little outer space items of course now that he lives on an alien planet he is well excuse the pun over the moon he really hopes to f see a real UFO one day but for now he is enjoying the models he has and those are some fancy models he has of course all this activity attracts the gyroids that live on this planet and what attracts gyros more than anything is of course the jukebox I hope one day you have some time to come and sit here and have a nice huh, uh, dinner it is all based on futuristic recipes Roswell found in some book or online or however he got them So if you feel up to a uh, fu futuristic meal dinner, just give Roswell a call and he will have... Oh, let me see. He will have a spot at his restaurant for you. And that's it for now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what's on the menu while I am saying goodbye for today. I hope you all are going to have a great Easter week. We already spotted the Easter balloons and I already talked to the big bunny who says he's a real bunny and had a costume still don't believe him on that one but to each his own and then as always there's only one thing left to say and that's Doo -doo